229. Oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we're definitely in the wrong place, and this guy really doesn't like us. Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Sadder's Factory then. With me, Spacefish, and welcome back to, well, far outside our usual space of movement. We are currently on route to, uh, hopefully, soon, find some oil, uh, establish a base camp, set up some oil pumps, and get all that connected all the way back to our home, which is going to be quite the voyage. We're going to have to set up power poles and, well, afterwards, a lot of uh, pipelines and other things, and there was already a lot of deadly uh, random scissor thingies that tried to assassinate me, so we'll see how well that goes. But for the time being, I think we've got to go, like, all the way about there-ish to actually go and uh, get to the oil, so we'll even have to find a way down there for a start. Let's go for a first scan, though, to actually find out where about we need to go. There. Okay, so that's where we want to go. Um, the issue, as you can see, is, well, we're coming with our truck, because, of course, we also need to bring all the materials there, and, well, you can see that the ma terrain currently is not all too favorable to trucks, so we'll have to see how we're going to kind of do that. Uh, I think we're going to drive around exploring a bit first to try and see if there's any favorable terrain anywhere to just be driving down on. Otherwise, I may just end up building a concrete ramp or something in the hope of that getting us down. Um, but yeah, let's see. Hopefully, we're also not going to find much of anything else that spooky on the way there. We'll see about that. I'm also kind of confused by this. Is that like a snail hanging in midair or... I don't know. We've got some uh, gazers here and, of course, these uh, larvae thingy that we probably don't want to come too close to. We've already um, experienced the annoyance of that, but let's go. Not open the workbench, not open the workbench, drive the tractor and see just uh, where to go, I suppose. I'm, I'm really not quite sure how we're going to do this, but um, we're going to try and just for the time being slowly tread along here and see if there's any potential ways around. No. Oh, what in the world is that? It looks quite spoopy. It's like glowing rocks or something. Oh, there's a snail down there. I kind of want that. But I also kind of feel that I'm going to die if I go down there. <laughs> it's just like presented to me so out in the open that it feels like an absolute trap to me. It's like you step there and some, I don't know, the earth disappears between uh, below your feet or something. Who even knows? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean... What am I hearing? I don't like that. Let's get back on the tractor. Um, but yeah, this way, definitely not the way to go, I suppose. We're gonna maybe just quickly go around the crater edge a bit to see if there's alternatives anywhere, but, well, I fear there's probably not going to be any, so most likely we'll have to just make a ramp. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Very evidently, there is currently not an alternative for us because we do not have anything coming close to a hazmat suit. So, uh, we're going to chill up there with a the tractor, and I'm just going to start building a ramp down, I suppose, which is actually going to be quite interesting how we want to build a ramp downwards, given that I'm building from up here. But we'll, we'll try and figure that out as we go, I suppose. Let's go and uh, see right here our foundations. And we'll be putting a few of these on hotkeys for ourselves. Probably going to just do the 4 meter foundations. It's going to be a bit steeper, I suppose, of a ramp. Um, that was kind of the wrong thing to do. It's going to be a bit steeper of a ramp, I suppose. But, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure we can somehow make that work. But the more steep we make it, the less we're going to use in terms of uh, materials. And, of course, I will also need some materials from out here. Which I hope we can just switch like that. And, indeed, we can... The issue being, we don't really have that much concrete, so, I don't know, I would like to save as much as possible, because of course we're going to need, like, foundations and stuff for our base camp too. How did I rotate again? Scroll. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're of course going to need some foundations for the base camp as well, so, don't want to totally overdo things, I think we're going to realign that. I kind of want to end up right, right there. So, about this going to be the alignment. The thing is, this ramp is probably going to be rather long, 
so we need to pay some attention to actually make things work for us. Now the interesting point here is going to be how in the world we're actually going to continue snapping ramps to this because of course now we're already out of ground but it appears as though this lets me build another piece below the ramp. Yeah, and then we just need to uh, turn it, I suppose. Cool. So this is going to be the ramp. We're going to build it all the way till down there for now, I suppose. And we're just going to go exploring left and right and see where we need to go. There's so many slogs around here, though. Kind of want to start collecting them all, I can lie. I mean, there's like a few that we can't get to. But there was this one right there that's out in the open. There's one on that tree there. There's a few on the trees up there, which you probably can't get to yet either. But there's like a bunch that I can see that we can easily get to and like everything is also nicely in viewing range so it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to find those. I'm kind of worried that these may just be some traps or something. I'm really not sure what to expect there to be honest. So um, we'll try and be careful and we'll also try not falling off the ramp while building it which, uh, you know, knowing me is a very realistic uh, possibility. So uh, please pray for me. Uh, we're already... Oh, God. Oh, please. I don't want to go any further. Can we not just... Oh, God. That was so close to falling off. I mean, we're getting closer to the ground. So, I, I suppose we're getting closer to not being prone to an absolutely deadly on-landing fall. But I would still I really prefer to keep my hit points for the time being, given that we've already come to find out that this is... A not the most friendly environment in the world, so, uh, you know, we'll try and not fall down regardless. And, uh, then we'll see. It's already these sort of, I don't know what sort of structures that is, but that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm sure we will find out more about that when we actually get down there. And hopefully it's not going to be structures that kill me. But yeah, so, I would really actually like to kind of get to a point where this ramp connects with down here and I can actually drive around with a truck out here because of course as I kind of previously said there was some slugs out there and we do probably want to try and grab as many as we can if we're already out here and it's happened did absolutely not enjoy that sound right there but otherwise it seems quite quiet out here for the time being see if that stays that way but for now I suppose we can just keep on building said ramp and hope that it connects as we're looking for it to connect so uh, one more foundation like that one more ramp like that I mean I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna well I actually can't I like to go down one with the foundation basically, so like into the ground, but I guess we're gonna try and just turn the tractor around here. Now you can already see a lot of poisonous gases down there, but it should be fine. I think we can mostly circumvent those at least until here and then we'll probably have to build further downwards or something. And there's a crashed spaceship part thingy in there. So given that we've got to pull power through there, once we do have a hazmat suit, that's probably going to give us some free stuff, which is always nice and beautiful. But anyways, let's go upwards. Uh, let's grab the tractor. And we'll just uh, maybe quickly drive around and grab a few slugs along the way. I'm not quite sure, actually. The thing is, I suppose we don't really have much of any space. So, kind of questioning that plan right now, given... Well, we do have space for green slugs, given that we've already stacked one in there, apparently. Why ever I'm carrying a green slug with me and a power shard, who knows, you know. Maybe I just wanted my uh, death to be a little more um, infuriating to me when I realized what I just lost. But anyways, let's go. Get this thing downwards. Try and break a bit so we don't overshoot, because that would be quite terrible indeed. And hopefully this space is going to be somewhat enough to maneuver our tractor around. Yeah, it's looking good. Easy. Cool. Uh, what I'm going to do, so I'm actually going to harvest uh, the nuts out here. Whoopsies. So we have some extra food, you know, can always probably use that, especially with our most recent encounters. And speaking of food, let's actually quickly just eat a few nuts then. Um... 
I suppose these to ensure we're back at full health so that if or probably rather when something happens we are hopefully somewhat uh, left with a tad bit of a better chance of survival. We'll see just how well that's going to go but anyways. Uh, let's look out here. Can't really see anything. Question is if there is... Oh, I mean, you know, I, I guess I can see something. That's not too terrible though. It's just some small hoggies, two of them. And a spitter. Two spitters. I mean, you know, it's a bit, but it's not terrible. bad. Boom. Oh. Um, that was not the right reflex. Can we... No, we're not going to scan him. Yeah, that's a bit better. Woo! That was a nasty hit. I guess I got him there. Is, is it that this... Uh, is this... Was this that much stronger, the sword? I don't actually remember using it much, to be fair, so that was quite the smack in my face right there. Holy moly. Yeah. That went quite well. We're going to grab this real quick. Listen in for any fire spitter sounds. No, they're quite far out there, just chilling. I guess we can just let them chill and vibe. Get back on our merry ways. Okay. So that's one free slug collected along the way, which is always beautiful. Kind of confused about these plants wiggling. You know, the thing is that what, what I'm kind of contemplating and worry about is like which plants and stuff are actually dangerous for me and like what I don't have to even care about. I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm always, I always have this thought of, you know, maybe the next plant that I walk past is just going to pop out of the ground and try and munch away at me. That does not seem like a normal size spitter. Um, that spitter is green. I don't think they usually look like that, do they? Uh, we're going to avoid that. That's, I think that's like a... Oh, God. Yeah, that's certainly like a spitter version of the big hoggy we once found. So, um, we're not going to go his way for now. Because I'm not sure if I can kill him or if he's going to kill me. And uh, we are not going to try and find out just yet. So, we're going to move around here. And, well, we're going to probably continue down here then. Slowly but surely. Trying to not accidentally stumble upon things, you know. Very carefully. There's another one of those guys. Oh, yeah, good guys always like them. Now there's, of course, a few poisonous areas around here which you do want to be wary of. That looked like a giant animal when it wasn't. Um, oh, sluggy. We do certainly want that slug. And it is looking... Is that yellow one or is that... No, I think it's another green, right? Well, anyways, let me get out. I'm going to go get that ourselves. I have to say that in terms of, like, overclocking, this, uh, this trip is starting to become a real gold mine. I mean, there's been so, so, so... There's, like... I don't know, it looks like there's like easily 10, 15 slugs all around this crater that are just waiting to be collected. Especially given that we're getting a jetpack soon, apparently that's going to be absolutely sick and easy to collect, so... I, I hope, I mean, not like I know how a jetpack works in this game, but I would imagine that's uh, going to make a lot of these a lot easier for me to grab, so... Yeah, fingers crossed, I suppose. We're going to go and slowly head further inwards, I guess. And maybe just head to the crater lining to see what's like past this and where we want to go to get... Oh. Well. Hello. Why did he just ignore me? What in the world was that? Like, yeah, I, I, I got like two hits out at him before anything even happened. That's weird. Well, one less bit to worry about, I suppose, so that's a good thing. All the safe happening in a few seconds may be a good thing. Um, you know, game may be like, oh, he's gonna run into the biggest monster ever in just a second, so we may as well, may as well auto save because he's certainly gonna die. Or it may just be a random auto save, you never know. Um, water. Okay. I mean, water is interesting. 
Because for one, you know, it would probably help with powering like some things, especially generators for us. So it's kind of nice that we found a huge body of water. Kind of not nice in the sense that we have to probably go to the other side of this crater, don't we? See, that was cold, wasn't it? Let's try the proper thing. Oh no, that was the right thing. 405, so yeah, it's the other side of this. Hmm. It seems as though we can drive down here along the beach. And just go from there. So we'll go and do that. Okay. I think there's another sluggy somewhere. Feels like it's up there. Oh, oh god. Don't fall through uh, through the ground, please. Yeah, it sounds like it's down there. I do not think we can reach that at the moment, unfortunately. So we are going to go and head on with our exploration. I'm not going to like deliberately go for any slug that I hear now, because I mean, they're going to stay around and- Oh, doggo! Thing is, I can't really get him with me on this thing. But, <laughs> I mean, it's a doggo. Kind of want the doggo to be with me. Oh, doggo. Thing is, I can't even split a stack for him. I think we're going to leave him alone for now. I really don't like just taming him and then we run into some monster and he's going to die. Or, you know, he's not going to be able to catch up with a tractor. Those things do not seem friendly. That plant just stood up when I came closer. Oh, that's another one of those poisonous plants, eh? Well, the range is not big enough, I suppose, to get it out here. It's another hoggy. I'm not sure if that's a big one, potentially. I don't know. We'll head on through here. God, this is getting uh, quite worrying of a terrain, to be honest. Like, I could be attacked from above me, to my sides, and behind me, and everywhere. But here's the beach. Um, on this beautiful, beautiful planet. Just a tad bit hazy, you know. And I think I just found the slug. It's not actually on top. It's also not actually in a spot that's easily reachable for me, is it? Oh, nope. Thanks. We're not going to drive into those just yet. But yeah, we're going to go there eventually. Just not really feeling like uh, fighting it out with the bees. So, we're going to... Ooh, drive into some different ones instead. I mean, I suppose we don't really have a choice, do we? Nah, this is going to be nasty. Oh, am I looking forward to that one? One. Two. Absolutely hate these little things, but that one went quite smoothly, I suppose. Let's try and keep that one going. And, uh... Well, you know, say hello to the next ones. Oh, yeah, they do leave something. I'm not sure if that was valuable or not. Where's the last one? Ugh. Stay away from me. Oh, and there's the other one. God. At least you can somewhat hear it from their uh, ooh, quite nasty sounds where they're coming from. Alien carapace. I think I can use that, to be honest. We're going to leave these here. Maybe we stumble upon them later. Oh, no, it just seems to be the standard. Um. Anyways, we have it now. We're carrying it with us, I suppose. God, the sounds out here. And now, we have another shipwreck, it seems. Which, I guess, me means some... Oh, God! Uh, uh, ooh, I did miss that one. Was, like, quite submerged, that. Go away! Friggin' re. But, yeah, so, uh, shipwreck, free materials. Don't really have the space to carry them, you know, but... Free materials. Seems like steel industrial beams and like some... Oh, that's that. What's making sounds. And like some screws. And then you of course have like this pod which you have to connect to power. Ooh, it looks like you could... No, you have to put rubber in. Yeah, you have to put rubber in. So there's pods and all, which is quite nice. And we're going to pop this beehive as well. And then we're going to drive past that, I suppose. Go away. That was quite quick and easy. 
gonna go and grab the Nazis. And there's gonna be more right there, but I'm just gonna go and grab the truck first, and then we're gonna head on. I was really not expecting us to take this long to get through this last part, but I suppose we're just, well, I've just become a bit more careful. Which may not be the worst thing in the world, because, you know, don't want to die probably this close to the target. So we're just going to take this very nice and slow. Oh, yeah, that, that was kind of what I was referring to with the not dying close to the target thing, right? Oh, freaking! Oh, no! I don't want to build! I don't want to know! Oh! God! Always the wrong buttons. Absolutely always the wrong friggin' buttons. Ah, God, I hate these things. They do not seem all too dangerous, but I absolutely hate them. That's alien organs, though, which I think is something new compared to everything that we had before? Or is that the same thing you get from spitters? I'm not quite sure. We're gonna grab it, and uh, we're gonna eat some nuts, you know, get those HPs back up. Oh, these things are nasty, though. I, I really don't like those encounters, not gonna lie. Um... On the upside of things, they don't seem to be doing all too much damage, and, you know, they also seem to be quite squishy and easy to kill, but still not liking it. So I guess we could actually head along this beach side if we really wanted to. We're quickly going to grab that slug up there, because it's just really nice and easily accessible for us. Um, but then we're going to see... Oh god, there's another one. Great. Go away. Ow! You survived it. Or maybe I just didn't hit him properly. But he's gone now. Um, I really hate these things. I don't know about you all, but that stuff's just giving me PTSD. Um, we're maybe going to scan where exactly we need to go. Because I'm supposing we're getting quite close. I really hope it's not going to be all the way up there now or something. 150... Oh, no. I mean, maybe that one's going to be down low. But this one feels like you have to go all the way up again or something. Um... Why am I not driving? There we go. I think we're gonna have to go up again. It quite feels like that. There's also some oil uh, 2,300 meters that way, just in case you were interested in that. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's another doggo out here. I mean, I feel like we kind of got two choices. Either we drive on along the beach or we go up. And I kind of feel like the answer has to be go up. Which may mean that we will eventually have to totally restructure that. Oh, God. Nope. We are absolutely totally not going that way. Where's this stuff now? <laughs> I really am not liking this, not gonna lie. Did I not finish this gun? I did not. There we go. No? I suppose we have to wait until we actually detect things. Or we just don't detect anything at all. There we go. That was a long travel time. 114, 136. I suppose we're going to the 136 meter one and we're going to try and see if we can... Oh, God. If we can get stuck on the structure and if we can somehow access this one without having to run into a ginormous spitter, that is probably going to murder us in two shots. So, we'll see about that one. And, um, I guess we could theoretically just eat ourselves off this. Oh, frickin'. Why? Why does this have to happen to me? I'm not, I'm quite sure I'm not able to fight that. You know, you all remember this big hoggy that we once found, that we really tried fighting. Admittedly, we still had the old Xeno Basher, or Xeno Zapper, and now we have the Xeno Basher. That did less damage and all, but I'm quite sure that within a few hits, he had almost killed me. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing about this now. And I'm also not quite sure what to be doing about these things. Go die. No, that doesn't work. That was worth a try, I suppose, but, um... I guess the question would be, given that, like, spitters and stuff are not attacking me when I'm on this thing, uh, can we just drive through? Boom. Boom. Oops. <laughs> we tried. Um, we'll just, you know, do a bit of trial and error here. I mean, quite honestly, pretty damn risking my vehicle here, but, you know, what could go wrong? I kind of have the feeling that we have to go up there still. 
He does not appear to be all too uh, lusting after me just yet, so I suppose this uh, approach somewhat works. Just staying in the vehicle, ignoring him, and there's another. Beautiful. Hello. Um, yeah, you just ignore me. Have a good day, sir. Goodbye. Alright, and we are in a different place, and this is like... What is this now? I, th I think this is like the end of the wall, isn't it? So I kind of quite have the feeling I will have to admit that we're in the wrong place and we need to go all the way up there. Which is kind of really terrible. Two twenty-nine. Oh God! Ow! 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 Yeah, we're definitely in the wrong place, and this guy really doesn't like us. It was quite painful, I suppose. Oh, uh, we had 206 meters, so, we're like, we already drove past it or what? Oh, come on, get up there. I'm not quite sure. It feels like that has to be up there. Like, basically all the way at the top of this. Can we? Yeah, okay. It feels like it's basically all the way up this. Which means that we're totally, absolutely, 100% in the wrong spot. Or it is that. I think it's that, isn't it? It's literally right in front of one of these ginormous thingies. You've got to be absolutely joking. The game devs are literally trying to kill me. It is that. I think. I don't know, I mean, it, it, it gives off a signature, but, like, the crude oil signature is somewhere else. I'm, is this it, or is it not it? I mean, that kind of looks like crude oil to me. That is crude oil, isn't it? And that's the guy watching for it. Hmm. So, this is very comforting. I'm not quite sure why the crude oil signature is somewhere totally different for me. But that very much looks like crude oil, doesn't it? Am I in the wrong spot still? I am really not quite sure. I think the other signature is probably where the other guy was watching, isn't it? Oh, doggo, hi. I mean, 100 meters this way is what it said, yeah? What in the world? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my scanner, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, so yeah. I suppose we found it, and I suppose we've also found quite the easy and convenient way to die. So... Yeah, my scanner, you can see, is just going there. No, 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 it's just certain turning in circles. That's weird. I'm like 99.9% .9 convinced that this is it, and that we've got this huge, ginormous guy to fight. I'm really not quite sure we're surviving that. But um, I suppose we'll just park off in the distance a tad bit, so uh, we don't spawn alongside our vehicle and instantly die the next time. And, uh, well, we, we will get back in the next episode and tr try and fight this guy, and hopefully then that's going to be the crude oil, and it's going to at least be worth it, and I don't die and have to run like two and a half kilometers to try and get back to my vehicle. So, um, if you want to see how that one turns out, tune back in the next episode. Uh, for today, we're going to have to end this adventure right here. Fingers crossed that it's going to go well for us the next time. Please send uh, thoughts and prayers in your comments down below, of course. If you happen to enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like button down below. That does help out a ton with the algorithm. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below, as well as hitting that bell icon. We're trying to hit 1k subs by the end of the year, so every single one will help out. A ton I thank you very much but with that all out of the way thank you so much for watching then everyone and I hope I'll catch you in the next one very very soon ciao